السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو ان نیٹ ورک پروفیشنل دا سسکو نیٹ ورکنگ اکیڈمی اینڈ آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر احمد ملک ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈیٹا فارمیٹس ان ویب پروگرامنگ ڈیٹا فارمیٹس آر سمپلی اے وے ٹو اسٹور اینڈ ایکسچینج ڈیٹا ان اسٹرکچرڈ فارمیٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کور ایچ ٹی ایم ایل ایکس ایم ایل جیسن وائی میل اینڈ سم ادر سو لیٹس ٹیک اے اسٹارٹ In web programming, data formats are simply a way to store and exchange data in a structured format. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, is a way of structuring data for software to understand. In this case, you have the web page in HTML, and the web browser, or software, is able to understand the markup language and then present the data with the proper styling. The data formats we'll be looking at all have similar characteristics. The data is structured and meant to be easily processed by computer software, as well as being readable to the human eye. The data has a special syntax. The data can represent objects, similar to JavaScript objects or programmable objects. The data objects are represented using key value notation or name value notation. Data objects values can be strings, numbers, booleans, An object can contain another object or a list and array. The data is meant to be serialized or converted to a format that allows sharing or storage in a form that allows recovery of its original structure. Data serialization refers to converting structured data to a format that allows sharing or storage of the data in a form that allows recovery of its original structure. In this case, you have a JavaScript object that is being stringified or turned into a string of data for being sent over the internet. At its destination, this string can be parsed and turned back into an object. The common data formats used in network automation are XML, JSON, and YAML. XML was designed for the internet and looks a lot like HTML. It's generally hard to read as it was designed to carry data and not display it. It uses tags to structure the data where the value is between the key tags. The tags can have attributes. White space is ignored. Sitemaps often use XML files and configuration files also often use XML files. JSON is simpler and more readable than XML. It uses colon separated key value pairs where the key is surrounded by quotes. JSON objects are separated by commas and bounded by curly braces. The objects can support strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, and other objects. Objects are surrounded by curly braces and arrays are surrounded by brackets. White space is ignored and JSON, like XML, is supported by web browsers. YAML is simpler and more readable than both XML and JSON. It uses colon separated key value pairs where no quotes are necessary or commas. Whitespace defines the structure of a YAML file in comparison to XML and JSON, and indentation is important for defining the objects. YAML will try to assume the type of data or data type. YAML is newer than XML and JSON and gaining in popularity, especially with network programmability. Let's look at how the data is organized in XML. You have the data objects with the key IP address and the value pair 192.168.0.100. So this is a key value data object, the net mask and the gateway, all data objects with key value pairs. These three objects are part of the gigabit ethernet zero object. The gigabit ethernet zero objects part of the interface object and the interface objects part of the network settings object. The similar structure is seen in JSON where the IP address net mask and gateway data objects are part of the gigabit ethernet zero object 
which is part of the interface and the network settings. In this case, the interface also has an array for the listing of additional interfaces. Notice how the structure here is defined by the curly brace and the commas. And with YAML, this is the simplest format. The structure is defined by the indentation of the white space. IP address, netmask, and gateway are all indented one space within Gigabit Ethernet 0, making these three data objects part of the Gigabit Ethernet 0 object. The Gigabit Ethernet 0 is an item in a list because of the dash, and this is all part of the interface object, which is part of the network settings object, defined by the indentation.